the application we build may still have unhandled scenarios or bugs that may require us to use a debugger. In our systems, it has a visual debugger that makes even this task easier. I will show you in this video how it is used. So this is my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application that has an entity. I have drag and drop this entity to the main flow editor to create the listing and detail screen. In my detail screen, actually I have a form where uh, when user clicks on a button, save, it updates or creates a new customer record like this. I've also went ahead and published the application with one click publish. So it's there on the server. Now in this case, if I want to debug this application, I can at any point, any step, add breakpoints. I can add multiple breakpoints depending on where I want the debugger to show me the flow. And once I do that, I, I can see a debugger tab here where it allows me to start debugging. In this case, this is a React web application. So I get the option to debug it using Chrome. I can click on the start debugging button to start debugging. There you go. The browser is launched automatically by the IDE. And if I log in with my user, either go on to create a new customer or open any of the existing ones. And if I click on save, the control goes back to the IDE. There I have the controls that allows me to go into a step or go over the step by using these controls here which is similar to any other ID. But the cool thing about this is it's all visual. So if I click on this, I keep on going to the next step. And there also we are able to view all the parameters that are there. We can see if they are available, the local fields, if there are information inside that, all of these are available here that allows developers to see what actually is happening in the system. Let me go ahead and complete this flow. And I'm able to see the data. Now for Mobile application, there is something unique. So if I go and switch over to a mobile application, even better. So if I go to a piece of logic and I put a breakpoint, I am able to either debug this using a emulator in the Chrome, or I can also do the USB debugging by plugging my phone, either Android or iOS device here and start debugging. It works pretty much the same way. Thanks for watching.